Hey guys, welcome back to Channel Brothers. I'm Robert. I'm Damon. And uh, looks like we have another flight test plane. Yeah, this is the FT Commuter. Ooh. Uh, looks like a, like a Cessna, basically. Yep. Okay. Yep. Cessna with little struts and everything. That's awesome. Pretty cool. Uh, do these actually, are these part of the actual structures just for looks? Just for looks. Oh, okay. They don't add any strength there. Oh, okay. Uh, notice you don't have the landing gear on just because we're flying in grass today, so, yep. but it does, it does come with wheels. It does come with wheels, okay. and uh, you have to bend your own landing gear. Okay. And that's, you said that's always been kind of a pain, right? <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Especially if you don't have the right tools, <laughs> like I do. Uh, so, what pack is this running for them for electronics? Uh, this is the A pack. Okay. So, it comes with a 20 amp uh, ESC, okay. and then an 1806 motor. Oh, very nice. Okay. So, this one's definitely not quite a performer like the Mustang was. This definitely is not. a little bit more of a slow, like, trainer kind of airplane. Yep, definitely okay. a trainer plane. Okay. Um, they do recommend a two cell, but you can also run a three cell. Oh, okay. It has to be pretty small though, like okay. 500 million. So you don't blow anything? No, it still actually fits in there. Oh, it fits, okay, <laughs> yeah. so yeah. Uh, why don't you show us that battery compartment too? Sure. Let's see it. Uh, it's on the bottom here. That's different. Most of the flight test planes have been on the top. Yeah, okay. So it just, just, just fits right under the uh, the power pod there. That's awesome. It's right in there. I actually kind of like that because you're not dealing with that construction paper like the Mustang had. It's just all, yep. all the foam board, right? Yep. Okay. Uh, anything you didn't like during the construction of it, like anything that was hard? Um, there's a lot of bevel cuts you have to do. Okay. Uh, especially in the nose area where you have to get these weird angles. Yeah, that looks like it'd be quite a <laughs> quite a puzzle there. It, it took time, but... It looks good, though. It looks really cool. It went together pretty easily, so That's there's awesome. no complaints there. Yeah, no, not at all. Uh, what does this kit run, electronics and the foam board together? Foam board by itself is $30. Okay. And then electronics are around 8 Okay, so this one's about 110 Yep. Honestly, though, I've been liking these a lot better than doing small micros just because the micro, even though E-Flight makes incredible micros, it's just yeah. they're so fragile. Yeah. These guys actually can take a hit, like if you wreck them and then just glue <laughs> them back together or buy new foam. So. They do, yeah. yeah. It's really cheap to get them back up and running. Oh, yeah, easily. Mm -hmm. So what I think we should do is get this thing in the air and see what you can do. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, Robert's going to hand launch me because this is the Maiden, so I'm not sure how it's going to handle. Yeah, exactly. I don't want to have full <laughs> control at <laughs> first, so let's do it. All right, you ready? Let me make sure all my controls are right. So right, left, up, down, right, left. And this is stuff once in a while you should check. So, yeah, yeah. especially <laughs> if it's a plane that is brand new. So, check your crap. yep. All right, you ready? Let's do it. Oh yeah. Oh, definitely floatier than the Mustang. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> that's a, that's the, that's what a nice high wing plane is though. That's definitely a Cessna. This thing is super maneuverable. <laughs> is it? <laughs> yeah. That wind is making her float, man. <laughs> Yeah, it is very floaty. It has a good wingspan to it. Yeah, no, that, that's a Cessna right there for you, <laughs> definitely. This thing weighs nothing, so the wind is just... Lifting up like a kite. Yeah. What about half throttle? Yeah, you can definitely tell it's a smaller motor uh, from the last thing. Oh, yeah, it's a lot slower. Yeah. So. But that's what you want, though. This is a trainer plane. Yep. I'm pretty happy. No trim. Really? Yeah. Wow. That's yeah. that's a, that's actually really, really good. It's going up a little bit by itself. Oh, yeah. Probably because I have a small battery in there. Oh yeah. I have a 460 milliamp three cell. To be honest, the trimming in the wind's just like yeah, you not that accurate anyway. Yeah, then when you have no wind, then it's completely off. Yeah. A little bit. Okay. No, but it's flying exactly like a high wing plane should, though forgiving. Oh yeah. So. No, man, I love Cessnas. They're they're amazing. I know if you say this is a really good uh, four channel trainer. Oop. For sure. Oh yeah. A little low pass. Okay. I can get lower. <laughs> you can get lower. I can get lower than that. Are you sure? Come on, Damon. Are you able to go out a little further this time? Is there a better receiver in this one? Yeah, this is actual. <laughs> okay. <laughs> non <-clubbed laughs> antennas. So. That's funny. Full power. Okay. Does not have infinite. No, of course the not. Wind is taking it. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> so if you don't have a motor on at all, the wind just like carry that away. It's like a kite, yeah. Put a That's funny. On it, you're good. That's funny. <laughs> It looks really nice though. I mean, yeah. it looks stable. I like it. <laughs> the roll scary a little bit. It's a little slower than the Mustang. Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't lie though, how slow it is. It probably wouldn't do too much damage if you type the grass. Is it in the wind? Okay. Now I decided not to put the wheels on it um, because we are uh, just landing grass today. And that's what I mostly do is just land grass. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but it does it, come with wheels and everything, so if you want to do that, you can. Well, I will say too, I think another reason why you're pitching up a lot is probably because it's designed for the weight of the wheels too. Yeah. And the drag, so that's probably why you have to adjust a little bit. Yeah. I'm going to go up a little higher and try out the stall. Okay. See how that is. I doubt anything's going to happen at all. Yeah, it's a Cessna, so. Yeah. <laughs> I won't lie though, in real life though, Cessnas, if they get uh, too slow, they definitely go into a flat spin, okay. so. 
Okay. All the way back. Wow. It's just floating. That's it. That is really good. Yeah, you see the motor's not even spinning nope. anymore. Nope. That's just the wind keeping her up there. But basically very controllable. Oh yeah. I mean you could have landed it like that. Easy. Let's try out the inverted. Okay. Definitely go up high though. Oh yeah. Alright, let's see it. That looks really good. It's not half throttle. That's not bad. Uh -uh. I'm loving this thing, this is awesome. And this is one of their newer minis. Oh, is it? Okay. Um, yeah, it came out about, I'd say a year ago. Okay, yeah, because like the last couple we've flying have been out for like five years, right? Yeah, yep. Okay. They're fairly older. Like I said, it, it's bizarre just to see like how old these are getting now. Mm -hmm. But definitely you can tell, like they've come a long way on how they built these things. Oh yeah. Just how their uh, plans are and everything. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Flight test has done very have done very well for themselves. Yeah. I mean, just everything they've done. Yeah, they definitely changed the hobby for sure. Oh yeah. Well, I do like it though because they're trying to make it more like appealing to people that have never done it. Beginners, yeah. Yeah, exactly. You can build your own plane within four or five hours, and then be up in the air in the same day. So. I mean, luckily me and Damon were so obsessed that we just kept at it ourselves. <laughs> but honestly, like I'm pretty sure if I was just starting now, I would definitely buy something like this. Uh -huh. So. Remember guys, if you guys are watching our videos right here, remember me and Damon were both once beginners once and you can do this too. Plenty of power. Oh yeah. Seems like it's plenty for a trainer. Uh -huh. Only has a five inch prop on it as well. Really, okay. Yeah. Can you run bigger or probably not? Not with this size motor, I wouldn't. Okay. Especially on three cell, I might overstress it. Oh yeah. I like just flying by with this thing. Cool. Yeah, I mean, she's just stable looking, man. Yeah. Everything about her. There's your timer? Yep. Okay. Bring her in. Throw another battery in it and then Robert can try it. Okay, sweet, yeah. I'm down. You can fly a the Mustang. seven foot one, you can fly this one. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, you're in really? the way. <laughs> you're in the way. <laughs> Alright, so this thing's awesome. Uh, no bad characteristics to it. And you said you, you didn't even have to trim it either, right? No. Wow. So, that's actually uh, good on me for building it right. Heck yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's have Robert try it. Let's do it. Alrighty, so I'm going to take the Cessna up myself. Let's see what she can do. Oh yeah, she just... It, it pitches off. up. It pitches. <laughs> yeah, that's good though. Yeah. What are you thinking? Oh, it's great. Ugh. <laughs> I also should stop flying to where it's hard for you to follow. Yeah, I gotta bend backwards. <laughs> oh, yeah, I gotta definitely use some rudder with that wind right now. But. Yeah. Yep. No, she's great, man. I mean, this is a very nice little forgiving plane. It's stable. Yeah. Should I go try Robert's trick? It's got a lot of power for it. Yeah, <laughs> for that little motor, it's good. Woo! Push it too much. Nope. <laughs> Not until I get higher. It doesn't have a lot of uh, authority. Authority on the yeah. rudder there. I noticed that. Go up higher. All right, and rubber trick. Uh huh. Nope. It's just spinning toward the ground. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. That's the thing that's nice with like Cessnas and stuff though is like those high wing planes. You just hit the throttle, they they pick right back up. Yeah, yeah. This is sweet, man. All right, so I'll actually fly it like a Cessna should now. A scale. So yeah. Okay. Or my closest to it. <laughs> The uh, wind's definitely like making it, make it, it, I don't know how to explain it. The wind's like making it jump around a little bit, but it's not bad at all. It would look so. more scale if you use rudder. I am right now, so. Okay. And I'm uh, using the rudder a little bit. Okay. <laughs> you also have to remember that too, lately I've been flying that jet and it doesn't have any. So. Nope, nope. It's all, you know, swinging moves here. <laughs> I guess we got a comment the other day. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> you should use your rudder more to look, make it look that scale. Was, that was for you too. Yep. That was good. I don't like rudder. Why not? If I can turn the ladle on. That roll rate, yeah. I mean, like, I see your top. It's not bad at all. No. Not bad. I mean, definitely not something you want to get too cocky with. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's not bad at all for a Cessna. And I'm using uh, bigger ones in the for the ailerons. I'm using nine grams instead of five. They recommend. Oh, okay. Because that's all I had laying around. That's probably why I got a lot more throw to it. Oh yeah. I'm pretty sure if you had the fives, it'd probably be more like that. Uh huh. <laughs> be slow. All right, coming around this way. Woo! Whoa. So much fun. 
I'm definitely flying the scale right now. Oh yeah, definitely. I would not get. This in is trouble. what they would really do. I would not get in trouble in real life for this. Oh. Uh -uh. Yeah, you gotta like. I mean, doing the wind, it just picks right up. So this is no throttle right now. I mean, yeah, the it doesn't wind, care. No, it does not care. <laughs> that is great though. I mean, that's like a stall and it just floats. Yeah, I think you just land it like that. Yeah, honestly, easily. in the grass, no Should problem. I try it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna try it. Don't worry. Good. No, she looks good, man. I mean, this is fun. Quiet too. Mm-hmm. Those little motors are quiet. Yeah, they are. This is like one third throttle right now. Turning left. And full throttle. I mean, yeah, it's just like, I mean, it's got a lot more power than you expect. Mm -hmm. Of course, we do have a three cell in it. If you want it to two, it definitely would not be as uh, nimble. Get up and go, yeah. No, it'd be a lot slower, like it should be, though. Yep. Much more trainery. Oh, yeah. If that's a word. Trainery. Trainery. Trainer like. Eh. Yeah, trainer like would be. That's two words, though. I'm flying scale. Uh huh. <laughs> Definitely. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> well, Cessnas are meant to be maneuverable. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's fun. <laughs> so, what would you say out of everything? You said the nose was like the hardest thing to build, right? Yep. Okay. Because of all the bevel cuts you have to all do bend on every little piece. piece. Yeah. Did you mess up at all? Uh, a little bit, but it's easily fixed. Okay. Yeah. So are their instructions for these kits really good? They are, yeah. Okay. They have a whole build video on their uh, their uh, YouTube video. Oh, sweet. So if you're more of a visual learner, that'd be better anyway. Yep. Sweet. They don't have any like written instructions or anything. Oh, okay. Just Please their videos. Pull the videos up and go do it. Yep. That's kind of cool. It's about an hour and a half video, um, but it takes you about five hours actually to go through it. <laughs> oh, I bet, yeah. Yeah. You have to wait for glue to dry and whatnot. But especially, I mean, this airplane right here, I'd say it'd be a very good first, like, four channel. Definitely. I mean, it is pretty stable. Yeah. Of course, right now, with the three set, it's a little sportier than what yours would be with a mm -hmm. two. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, yeah, it's, this thing's really stable. And we're flying right now, I think it's at least eight mile an hour wind. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's got some, it's definitely some gusts out here. But she's handling fine. We don't have any AS3X receivers or anything in it. Nope, so nope. This is just us right now. Straight stock. Yeah, that roll rate's like really good for a Cessna. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. We do have the nine grams in there, so it's a little more powerful on the um, ailerons. Which yours probably won't be quite, but if they do it the, the way the video suggests, it'll probably be a little slower roll rate, right? Yeah, it could be. Yeah. It's funny when I was putting this together, like the final bits. Yeah. Um, the aileron servos took so much power, it actually browned out my receiver. Really? So I had to add a BEC to it because the one that's in the receipt or ESC is awful. <laughs> oh really? Okay. So did you add any throttle to this landing or just float her down? Uh, just a tiny bit of throttle, just make it here and cut it down. Okay. Let's do it. Good sticky, really. Okay. Cool. It's like a kite, man. Yeah, it is. It's super stable. A little bit here and there. Oh, gotta watch that wind a bit though. That's yeah. awesome. There you go. That was really fun. Yeah. No, I mean, it's super stable. Uh, obviously, yours is a little bit more of a performer than it would normally be, mm -hmm. but I had a great time. And I think, too, like, after you've flown this for a bit, if you guys start getting more comfortable with the 4-channel, throw a 3-cell on this thing, you could have, actually have some fun out there like you saw yeah, I was doing. Yeah, definitely. So I think it's time for the final score. What do you think? Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, so this thing's just awesome. Yeah, that was that was a lot of fun. I was yeah. enjoying that. Yeah. I was having a good, as you can tell, I was having a good time. <laughs> <laughs> Playing very scale. Yeah, it's very scale. scale. <laughs> I won't lie, though, in the wind, it's like, I don't know, I'm just kind of like, yeah, I'll use the wind to my advantage, have some mm -hmm. fun with some flips. Yeah. So. So I definitely recommend this for a uh, first plane, especially oh, yeah. if you're running a two cell. Oh yeah. Um, it is four channel, so I mean, a little experience yeah. is required. But <laughs> well, also though, too, if they really wanted, like, let's say you're brand brand new and you're kind of a little bit like new to how like these guys will fly. Yeah. You could even buy like a, a Spectrum receiver with safe on it, put it on this thing. Definitely, so, yeah, definitely. That'd be good. Um, pretty easy to build. It just takes a while, uh, especially if you're very slow like me. Oh yeah. Well, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that though, because then you make sure everything's right. Yeah. Exactly. So you said this one, if you're brand new, probably be around five hours to build. Mm -hmm. Okay. So honestly, that's not too bad though. Yeah. So you said 30 bucks for the phone kit. You also have the electronics for 80, so 110. So I mean, that's yeah. that's right up there. Then a micro, and this is much stronger. Not bad. Not and bad. And a lot more powerful. Mm -hmm. So definitely. So what would you say score-wise for this guy should be? I'm gonna give it a 10. Yeah, same. Yeah. I, I think it honestly, there's nothing bad about it. Like everything about no, it, I liked. No bad characteristics mm -hmm. to it. It 
handled like it should. Yeah, and I think what we should do sometime is uh, we need to take this guy out, like right here, and fly out like on the runway sometimes. See how it does the definitely, wheels. Definitely. So. And I'm gonna definitely put a FPV camera. On. Oh heck yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we need to do some uh, small FPV planes sometime. Just I've race done that around. That'll be yeah. fun. Yeah. Last one was the bonsai, I think. Yeah, but we need to both get one going and just fly together, like have yeah. some fun and rip it around. That's so. sweet. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Well, hey, thank you so much for watching today. I'm Robert. I'm David. And uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and then also make sure you tap that bell to keep up to date with all of our latest videos. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll see you guys again next time. Bye. Bye. Alrighty guys, well hey, thank you so much for watching. My name is Robert. I'm David. Uh, don't forget to click the subscribe button. If, uh, that way you help us keep up to it. Okay, let me restart that. I screwed up. Alrighty guys, uh, well thank you so much for watching. Uh, we wanted to say... Uh, <sighs> I say, uh, 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 I lost my train. Uh, 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 okay. Oh, wow, look about. at all these bloopers. For I you. know, I know, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is. When I start talking, then I get quick, I'll, I'll lose my train. Alright, yeah. let's try this again. Yeah, slow down, but. <laughs> 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 Alrighty. And three, <clears throat> two, <laughs> go. Okay. Uh, oh, you were close. Uh -huh. Trying to get close as possible. Get that foot down hitting you. Oh yeah, definitely. Still, I don't feel any turbulence at all from you. I know, Whoa. A little bit. <laughs> I'm real close. Long left turn. Get out, you're over the road. I'm way over the road.